Alright, this is Icebox915, with friend Super Saiyan Matt. We're gonna be doing a Let's Play video on Donkey Kong Country 1 for the Super Nintendo. Are you doing right, Matt? Yeah. Alright. Let me just, uh, raise his volume up a bit so it's gonna freeze a little bit. Just a little bit. Well, for me. Mm. Oh, for the video, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, for everybody, you're gonna freeze. She randomly like quest. I hate freezing screens. <laughs> Who doesn't yeah, hate freezing screens? The quest. <laughs> no, I haven't played quest. No, it's a show. Ah. It's really funny. Quest is awesome. He's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everything. Yeah. So as we're going to start through, we're going to start off with the first level. So I'm going to play this game casually as I would normally play it. So you may end up seeing some secret areas and whatnot. And how I end up ridiculously getting like 20 lives within the first area. Well, the first stage. It's hard to say it's like um, the speed run, to be honest. Yeah, no, when I normally play it, I this is how I normally play. I know. I'll literally sit around and I'll try to pick up everything. I just get the key. Oops, I missed that too. I forget what what's the advantages uh, between Diddy Kong and um Donkey. Uh, Diddy Kong's lighter, and apparently he's able to avoid gravity. While he spins, and he can hit enemies that are in front of him, which is totally a barrel. Donkey Kong's able to freaking smash through heavy enemies with like no problem. Yeah. Uh, and he seems to have this special technique for him smashing the ground. He can pull up bananas and take bananas out of an opponent, apparently. Ah, uh, fair enough. Yeah, so basically, wait. Looks like we're going swordfish today. Well, that's what you expect, really. Yay, swordfish. Is actually, well, actually, Lydos, this is actually one of the first games that actually used a kind of like a 3D render of characters on a 2D plane. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, if, if you happen to notice, just through the gameplay, you happen to notice Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong have that 3D appearance. As they're yeah, walking that's sideways. That's you know, they have that appearance. That's not clever. Who the hell is this? Yeah, majority of the game I tend to play through uh, as Diddy Kong. Uh huh. You know, even with Random. the even with the awkward uh, yeah. even with the awkward uh, frame freezes, you know I'm actually still able to play normal. Sure. Just when I'm going to get to the later on stages, that's where it's going to get a little complicated. Yeah. Um. The thing is, no, I just hate random people I am me. I shall talk to you as well, bitch. Are you getting random I am too? <laughs> Not this it's time. Like You're not killing me. Absolutely find the people. Like this is like the third person. Fuck. Yeah. This is the only mini game that's gonna really give me the most trouble. Grab it, grab it. Um, 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 third one. Uh oh, nope, second one. Oh, I'm like always fifty fifty on that. It's Cause those last two flicks. I just like the fact that he can't play Donkey in the other two. I mean, it's good that he's the damsel in distress, no problem. It's kind of you funny know. how he's the damsel in distress. Because you would, you would normally think it would be Candy Kong and be damsel in distress. Or, 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 or Dixie. Yeah. So, <laughs> considering that Nintendo decided to actually give Dixie the relationship status yeah. to uh, Diddy Kong. 
So it's, I, I kind of find that kind of humorous. Yeah, it's just like, it's just like big, big, yeah, a big strong ape is like raw, and then he's like, no. Well, see, the first one he gets tied up. Yeah. The second, the well, correct. Me. The second one he gets tied up. The third one, him and Diddy Kong become like trapped inside a robot. <laughs> but if you happen to notice, all the final bosses are named. Uh, they're not exactly King Cruel. King yeah. K. Rule. They're not exactly him. They're like knockoff versions. Because, yeah, like, the first one, you actually what? fight King yeah. Rule. You actually fight King Rule in the first one. But in the second one, then you fight Captain K. Rule. Then the third one is just Scientist Rule. They didn't, they didn't go back to the original uh, King K. Rule until 64. Yeah, I remember about that one. Yeah, that actually got uh, all 102% on that, 101% on that. Let's see much. How many 101%? 101%, there's a hidden uh, well, banana. Also there's a hidden banana Come in uh, 64, so it allows you to get that extra extra percent. What's that, sorry? There's a hidden, there's a hidden banana in uh, uh, 64 that gives you the 101. That's if you, oh, that's see, if you go around and get all the banana. see how they named like, all the games with the 64 title? It's like Castlevania 64, Donkey Kong 64, Mario 64, etc. <laughs> yeah, you don't see Sega doing that. You don't see, you don't see Sonic 64 bit. <laughs> um, or yeah. something, something crazy like that. Or uh, Perfect yeah. Dark 360. <laughs> The only one that happened to carry a 360 title was Sonic 06, Sonic the Hedgehog, or Sonic 360. How did 360 use 360? That was just Sonic 06 because it's 2006. Yeah, but still, it was, like the only, it was the only game that actually, other than a sports game, other than a sports game, it was the only game that actually had a number at the end of it. Yeah. And it still seemed to suck. Yeah. Huh? Um, it wasn't even called Sonic 06. It was just called Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, but why are you going to call it Sonic the Hedgehog if there was already a title called Sonic the Hedgehog? Well, it's because apparently it's like the first, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like they decided to want to call it again. Yeah. The thing is, apparently it's going to be like a unique title, like. Yeah, apparently, like. apparently since they got rushed, they screwed it over. Well. Uh, well, because I could, if they would have put more time to it, they would have had more time, more thing to it. Because if you could, know, you could tell from now, like games like this, you could tell they actually worked a lot of detail out because there barely any glitches or anything to it. You could sit down, pick up the controller, and play. The only thing I found was with Knuckles and Roots, and that's about it. I mean, I know the glitches back and work with them. It's not actually as bad as people make it. True. I haven't played the game, so I can't fully justify it. Uh, I haven't played it's like, it. It's just because everyone's just like mad because it's like cool Sonic the Hedgehog, which I can guess is good, but you know. The Sonic fans are just diss those 3D Mario games. I just call them retro freaks. Not true, Sonic fans. Yeah, that's true. Twenty lives already. Huh? It's twenty lives already. It's been what? Twenty. You got twenty lives. Yeah. I knew. Um, let's keep your eye on the Twenty one. Uh, yeah, I forgot to put my watch on. So this may exceed a bit. Yeah, I ain't gonna leave without that cake. Well, gee, whatever.
<laughs> the question I thought was kind of funny is that all the bosses seem to be easy until you get to like the last two. But then you again, it's easy to hide. You should say Mega Man Two. Like all the monsters are easy, except for my right friend. I mean, he's just so bad this game. He can't even beat the first level. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I think, mean, I think I was, we're probably near that. Ten, like, so, yeah. yeah, I think we're probably at that ten-minute marker. I don't know. Um, so you know, it's pretty, you know, so yeah. Yeah, I don't got Windows Movie Maker. So I'm gonna pause it right here for now. We'll continue with level two when we turn with episode two of Duncan Country. Let's play. <laughs> this is Icebox Nine Fifteen and my friend Super Sam Matt. We're turning off. Catch you later. Yeah.